Hey everybody, Wormac here for this game where I keep forgetting to. I hate this camera mode. There you go, where I keep forgetting to. Am I over encumbered? That's why I'm walking slow. Alright, I keep forgetting to change the bindings. Let's find a store. There's an armor smith over there. Go. So weak. I only have ten strength. Which is better than my last wizard, I suppose. And he's over here somewhere? He's right there. Worth the armor smith. How much are you worth, worth? Let's see what you have for sale. Uh, yes. What does this do? Bonus one electrical damage. Yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of this. something better than that. Sorry about your amulet, Dad. <laughs> Scribe that. I already have that. Scribe that. Scribe that. That is one useful thing about being a f flipping wizard. scribing spells thing. This one armor plus three versus armor versus chaotic, armor versus evil. Flaming gloves? Oh, by Monk. Mask of persuasion, charisma, concentration, diplomacy. 13 charisma. I'm using a using a plus two headband. That's actually much more useful. That's basically the same thing with one saving throw and a little concentration. Got the weaponsmith. Also, might want to put that there. Whoa, just a second. We're having an issue. long. Uh, good job, I guess. I'm glad nobody cares. <laughs> oh, we don't need arrow plus ones. Not now, anyway. Yes, I want these bolts plus one. Purchase them for me. Can I not afford them? Is it 94? I don't know what's his issue. Elven court bow. Halberds again. Light crossbow. Okay, heavy crossbow. 1d10, weighs 8 pounds. I am a sniper.
Sniper or a Wizard? Rift Hammer. And that was the Lawgiver. What's the Rift Hammer? Ooh, that's actually really good. Not much uh, resist sonic damage. It's very nice damage type to have. Too bad that's so expensive. Arc Asunder. I'm not sure what good parry would be, but, you know, whatever. There. I don't know what the big deal was, but, you know, whatever. Stuff to keep in mind. Kelgar is doing fine, though. Oh yeah, I need to put that there. Who's on the bear? No. That used to be a collector's edition thing, but now it you buy the game online. Yeah, I think you get that. Some merchants, very, very few, have special stock. If you have this active, you get a little conversation option. But it's really... The, I, I can remember one, maybe two, that have it. But the stuff they have is really, really good. Carry you through to the end of the game good if you have the money to afford it. At this point in the game, no you do not. So this is where we're supposed to go, the sunken flagon. Our uncle runs this. Let's go say hi. And there he is, Duncan Farlong. Well now, what can I do for you? Bit of venom for the belly, perhaps? Or maybe a tankard or two to shave the edge off your day? Uh, who? I'm looking for my Uncle Duncan. Uncle Duncan? Oh, that sounds a bit familiar. If you're here to collect in some debt, I'll tell you that Duncan's a drunk fool without two coppers to his name. Dagan sent me. Dagan, eh? So the time's come, has it? Trouble's chasing on your heels, and you barely know why. Suppose Dagan told you less than half of what you need to know, then sent you packing. Don't take it hard. Done it to me twice in my life. All for good reason. I can probably guess why you're here, but why don't you go ahead and tell me anyway? Uh, mine was to do a little shard he covered from the Battle of West Harbor. Oh, did he? Nothing more than I did years ago. Plain silver near as we could tell. You and those shards were all that were left of that West Harbor battle. Duncan! I thought you said that shard was magic, didn't you? Trace of an enchantment on it is what that eel San said, but nothing of importance. Probably residue from demon's fire, or maybe wizard magic. Demon's fire? Sounds important to me. And that cell is why you are cleaning tables and I own this place. Those shards were magic, yes, a trace. But again, it was sand, and he's a fool. Anyway, barely worth mentioning. More sentimental value than anything else. That really why you came all this way? To hear about your mother? Uh, what did she have to do about with this? Yeah, your mother, Esmeralda. Since you were asking about the shards. What, Dagon's still keeping that inside? It's a wonder he doesn't crack down the middle. Ah, but you know, I have no call to say that. I think that's why he buried that first shard. And gave the other one to me. How? Well, what do you mean by this? I think you might have been better off being raised by wolves if Dagon didn't share that. There's a lot I'm sure he never told you. But listen, it's his place to tell you, not mine. He'll tell you when he's ready, I think. But it's best you hear it from him. Let's stick to the shards for now. Okay. It's definitely... You brought magic. it here? Dug it up from those ruins? 
Now why in the nine hells would you go digging up the past like that? Look, and listen. There's no good in picking up history's bones, especially where that warlock's concerned. I heard the tales, and Dagon told me what happened at West Harbor that night. And I see the other side. Here. Sword. I've always kept it close for some reason. Didn't want to leave it out of my sight. Seemed unremarkable. But I find that sometimes time will tell. Had Sand examine it a long time ago, but he turned up nothing. Uh, maybe with two. Well, it's worth a, a shot. Read. But don't pay him any coin in advance, that's all I'll say. In fact, that viper would be best off... Ah, it seems I've arrived just in time to deflect the usual barrage of slander from the local innkeeper. Sand. Sand. Everywhere yes, I look. it is good to see you're still sober enough to recognize me, Duncan. Past the... Stale beer, vinegar, faint sweat, failed aspirations, unwashed tunic. I thought perhaps you had already had one tankard too many for the day, but... Why, your guest here has the smell of a harbin in about them. Faint, but there... I thought Duncan was keeping company too good for him. Now I see I was right. Duncan, you could learn a few things from your guest. Hmm. Still passing off those two copper fairweather charms to the local sand? You have no appreciation for my talents and after all I've done for you. To think you could survive a fortnight without my ale purgative. Why, you would be buried in the tombs with the rest of the Neverwinter traitors. A betrayer of barkeepers everywhere. But enough about you and your adventurous exploits on the tavern floor. I heard my name mentioned, and oddly enough, almost in a tone that suggested I could help. This here's kin. I'm not really seeing the family resemblance. And we need your help concerning the shard. Both of them. Shard? That chunk of silver you showed me so long ago? Hmm, I do hope you're not going to try to pawn it to me again. I am no longer interested. Besides, as I recall, you said the piece of junk had sentimental value, which, upon viewing your establishment, is perfectly understandable. Besides, didn't your uncle or cousin or brother or whatever make off with the other shard? I thought you only had one now. It found its way back, so to speak. We need you to look at both of them again. Properly this time. Oh, very well. Give them here and let me see what my keen arcane senses can determine. Hmm. Oh! My goodness. Well, it seems to have some resentment to being scried. That is quite different than last time. Are you sure these are the same shards? The power in them? Why, it's definitely stronger than last time. Much stronger. Oh, so now they're magical. I'm not paying you for two failed divinations, you charlatan. It's not a matter of divination, you one tankard drunk. There is something about these shards. Without knowing their history, even my considerable talents cannot unlock their mysteries. Jeez, I actually get a conversation option? Are you sure you two don't want to just talk for the rest of the game? I can stand here and listen. Uh... Because he's incompetent? Duncan, the more I speak to your kin here, it's evident where the sense in the family went. Since you seem to have been given all the brains of the family, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. But I do know the shards did not have the same strength the first time I examined them. There could be something about you that causes them to resonate. But I have no idea why that would be. Hmm. Huh. So would who? You could try and speak to Aldenon, but I don't think you'd have much luck reaching him. The Black Lake District is closed down. Aldenon lives in the Black Lake District, you see, and now he's trapped there. The watch has it locked tight. No one going in or out, no messages in or out, even for the nobles that used to live there. Quite cryptic, really. Interesting. Also, don't expect Neverwinter to look much like it did in the first game. They've remodeled it quite a bit. There's really barely any resemblance, but at least they have a good excuse, you know, rebuilding after the war and all. Wall of fire to get in. I right? heard about that. Lord Dalrin was killed, wasn't he? 
I've heard rumors, but no official word of what happened. As have I. Not only are the Watch not talking about it, but they even called in the Cloak Tower mages to investigate, which means sorcery or demons were at work. Demons? Closest I've ever come to demons is Dagon's tales about the battles down south near West Harbor, when there was that trouble with the King of Shadows. King of Shadows? Some sorcerer, I believe, had a number of demons and shadows at his beck and call. Not many tales left about that period of Neverwinter history, oddly enough. But you say this Aldenon might know more, Sand? <sighs> well, if you're not a member of the Watch, or know a secret route into Black Lake, then you're out of luck. So it seems like you have no choice but to let me examine the shards at my leisure. I'll need to hold on to them, of course. Wait. Watch or secret route? Not bad ideas. Either way, the coin lands. Hell, oh, there's Marshal Cormac. He's currently at the city watch post, and I know he's in bad need of an extra sword arm down at the docks. I'm not much of a sword arm, but I'm a spell arm. Yes, Lock. I heard he got back to Neverwinter recently. Surprised he even made it with the troubles I've heard around Fort Locke. Trust me, you don't know the half of it. Cormac's a harborman, too. And folks of the harbor are as close to kin as you can get out of the mare. He might be able to take you into the watch. And from there, speaking to Aldenon shouldn't be too hard. Mm. Sounds good to if me. If you want to find another route into the Black Lake District, that means dealing with other folks that try to control the docks. Moya and her gang. Oh, there's an idea, Duncan. They probably were behind the watch closing the Black Lake District in the first place. Uh. uh. Well, she's got thugs all over the docks. But finding one who can get you to her? There's Caleb. He used to try to get me to pay him gold for protection before I told him about the wards I had inscribed on the building that caged the Guardian Elementals. Long story, but quick resolution. Caleb, maybe. But I don't trust that harbor rat to give you a fair deal. And the price will be steep, in bodies or coin. He doesn't like being the only one with blood on his hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound like someone we should put our faith in. I agree. You've never dealt with the watch in Neverwinter, Kelgar. Dealing with Caleb is probably our best chance. Still, the chances are simply talking to Caleb will make you want to kill him, so it seems a clear win to me. If you do speak to him, though, be sure to do it downwind. Frickin' elves, man. So frickin' smug. I wanna rub his face down onto the floor. There. I'm with that! Nothing like a good excuse to knock some heads together and do some good while we're at it. Yeah, great. I hope nobody else I know finds out, or there goes my sterling reputation. You can find Cormac in the watch post near the Dolphin Bridge that leads to the Merchant Quarter. He needs help, so it shouldn't be much of a tough sell to join up. Caleb should be lounging around the corner east along the main road. Just follow the smell. If you want to join with him, he'll probably ask you to hurt or kill someone, so be warned. Not I'll mark both on your map. Help you get your bearings. Well, you can certainly find your way into trouble from here. Me, I will head back to my lonely merchant existence. Should you need my expertise, simply ask. But just in case, bring a great deal of gold as well. Nope. Not gonna pay you. You'll join up for free later. Well, there you have it. Talk to Caleb or Cormac. If Cormac is at obvious. the watch post near the Dolphin Bridge. Caleb should be lounging down the street east along the main road. The docks don't see too much of the arcane. I guarantee your talents can make an impact, for or against the watch. But while you're here, feel free to make yourself at home. Also, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Your companions are welcome to stay here as well, even if you're off on some other journey like the one that sent you here. They're all welcome to make themselves at home whenever they're not traveling with you. That way you'll know where to find them if you need their help later. <laughs> Sound good? Okay, but if they tear the place apart, don't bill me. Uh... Alright. Yep. Gonna rest. We're going to leave the party as is for now. Because we don't really have anyone to switch out. What, do you have anything to say, Bishop? If I wanted a wench, I'd go to the local brothel. Charming as always, Bishop.
There's your personal room. Not much in it. There's also a crafting room. Handy, but we're not crafting.